What's going on guys? Welcome back to yet another video. We're out here today and today we are going to be annihilating some tree rats. Right now it is currently, one second, let me check what time it is. It is currently 4.15 in the evening. Now right now in Kentucky, I don't know about where you guys live, but it gets dark around 5.30. So right, we're going to go ahead and skedaddle up into the woods to see if we can kill us a big old tree rat. Fuzzy old bushy tail, you know what I mean. Make us some squirrel gravy or something. Gun I'm using today is this gun. Let me, let me pull it up here. A 10 gauge single shot New England firearms um, 10 gauge. That's, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up an image on the screen of a comparison of a 10 gauge, a 12 gauge, and a 20 gauge. Maybe a 410 and a 16 gauge as well if I can find those. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead, head up on into the woods and see if we can kill us a squirrel. Now, I was actually up here checking my traps this morning. I caught a possum. You guys may have saw that in a previous video. Anyway, when I got up to the possums, a squirrel just darted out from out a tree. He said, skirt, skirt, I'm going to head out. So, I'll see you guys. Um, I guess when something exciting happens. Let's go. What you're looking at right there, and I'll put a red arrow on it like right now. That is actually a squirrel's nest. And this video is hunting squirrels with a 10 gauge giant gun. Right around this corner up here, we go back that way. That is where we should start seeing squirrels. I just wanna say, if I don't make it out alive, but I, I, this is something I have to do. I have to take a sacrifice. And we're gonna annihilate these squirrels. Stupid tree rats always messing us up. I'm, I'm hiding up to here with them. We're taking these suckers out right now. I'm gonna get low and stay out of sight. Well, I guess I'm technically going up, but I'm gonna get low anyway. Well guys, it's actually starting to rain pretty hard now. So I'm gonna wait about five minutes. If it doesn't let up, we're gonna retreat and do this again tomorrow. All right guys, it's actually starting to snow. And I'm in shorts. What are you doing, man? Okay, I gotta get out of here. It is starting to come a downpour. Oh, guys. But anyway, yeah, I'm skedaddling out of here. Oh, and I'm actually freezing now. Wow, okay. Aborted mission. We will be back in the morning if it isn't like this. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna get us some squirrels. I'll make sure of that. See you guys then. Welcome back, guys. We're out here. It is, in fact, the next morning. And wow, it is pretty cold out. Anyway, we're going to go ahead, head back up into the hills, see if we can finish what we started yesterday. This time, no retreat, no retreat. We're staying there as long as we have to. We have the old trusty Rusty, even though it's not rusty that much. So uh, let's go ahead and get moving forward. These trees right here, they actually fell down during the storm. Wow. Well, I wouldn't call it a storm, but it was very windy. Very windy. Saw anything here? 
I'm going to sit right here and hopefully something comes out. So, we'll see. Guys, I think Jerry the Raccoon's around here. If Jerry the Raccoon pops out, we have to abort mission. Like, there's no, there's no question. We have to. But we'll just stay here while we can. Alright guys, I've been sitting here probably 10 minutes, I think. And, uh, haven't saw anything, haven't heard anything. So either I'm too far out in the open or these squirrels have spotted me. And our, uh, cover has been compromised. And I think I know a spot that's pretty good. And, uh, it's around where they, like, nest at night. So, better... Or we might just shoot some crows. That sounds good too. Alright guys, I made it pretty far up the mountain. Um, yeah, we're pretty high up. And uh, I haven't seen any squirrels yet, which is actually surprising. Usually they are everywhere around here. So we'll just keep walking around and we might sit down somewhere and see if anything comes out. Well guys, as you'll be able to see, um, we didn't kill anything. Uh, it's actually very windy today, and I've never did good with squirrels when it's windy. I don't know if they just don't come out or something because they're up in the trees, but I just figured I'd go ahead and call it off for today. It's going to be windy all day long. So we'll be back out tomorrow evening, and we will kill us a squirrel. I will make sure we kill a squirrel in this video. If I have to, I'll set squirrel traps, but either way, we're going to get us a squirrel. But anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. What's going on guys? We're back out here. It is the next day. Yes, it is in fact the next day. We're here and we're going to go ahead finish this squirrel hunting expedition and we're going to hopefully kill us a squirrel today. It's not been too lucky yet, but we're going to do our best. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, head on up into the hills, I guess. Bruh. I'm trying to do a video. Do you not even care? Yeah, that's what I thought. Walk your walk of shame, Mr. Cluck. Jeez. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get you guys in a head mount, get my shotgun out, and we're going to go head up in the hills. Hopefully catch us. Uh, catch us. Why do I say catch us? I hate when people do that, and here I am doing it myself. We're going to go shoot us a squirrel. We've got to go right over behind that tree over here, around that corner, back up that way. So, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Kill some squirrels. Alright guys, so I don't know if you just saw that, but there was a squirrel over there in that tree right there. So uh, I'm going to actually kind of sneak behind this tree right here, and I'm going to listen, and then whenever I hear it come out, I'm going to jump around the tree and shoot it. I missed him. I saw his tree went up though. He got down on the ground and started running so I shot at him. And the shell pulled and my gun stopped working so I gotta try to get the bullet out somehow. That ain't gonna work. As you saw my shell puller quit working for a second. It like got, I guess it was rusted up a little bit. I need to oil this gun again. And I remembered I had a knife. Um, yeah, the squirrel went downhill. So we probably will not see it. But I'll go ahead, head on up the hill here. And uh, if we see one up there, we'll shoot it. But this one, I actually shot at it. But it got away. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep hunting.
don't know what that was. Looked like some kind of chipmunk. Oh, it's a bird. There's a squirrel, guys. He's running that way. Oh, there's two. Alright guys, my battery is about to die. But as long as it lasts, I'm going to sit right here. There's the tree that that squirrel went in. I'm just going to sit here and see if anything comes out. Bang exclamation point. Bingo. We got him boys, we got him. Let's see if we can get another. My battery died. I, I, I lost footage. Uh, I shot at another one, but I think that's right around the time my battery died. If you saw me shoot, then uh, yeah, I didn't kill that one. So, we didn't kill any without you, I promise. But, we did lose some footage. We missed me walking 10 foot, picking up a squirrel by the tail, and then walking home. And I wouldn't have even showed the walking home spot. Yeah, we're in a pretty good position actually. And uh, I know I was going to actually show me picking up the squirrel and assessing it, but if it's that important, I'll show you guys right now. Okay, you see this? Squirrel. Now watch closely, okay? This is the tricky part here. There we go. It's like I didn't even lose footage, guys. Like, come on, here it is. I picked it up. We're gonna go ahead and process this guy up. By the way, um, before I get too far in bloodiness in this, I just wanna warn you, this is gonna be bloody, okay? So if you don't wanna watch that, just kind of scoot away. Don't watch my video. That leg, complete. Is it? No, it's actually not. We haven't cut the rest of it off. You know this. You know this. You could do this in your sleep if you wanted to. At least, I, I probably could. I can't really be trusted with knives when I'm awake. Roll the flashback. There we go. We got it started now. And I just cut my hand. Wow, okay. I realize this is taking me forever. But really, once you get started on a squirrel, like once you get the first cut, it actually goes pretty easy after that. See, no, I'm just like coming off like butter. Makes sense? Can, does butter does butter come off? Right, guys, since I'm probably boring you to death, I'll go ahead and time lapse this sucker until we're uh, putting it on the uh, board that we're going to put it on the skin or tan, whatever you want to call it. I got every piece of this squirrel skinned out. We've got the skin right here. And I've got the quarters here and a little piece of uh, backstrap meat. Now I was actually wanting to do this kind of how I, we would do it like traditionally around where I live. And that is a squirrel gravy with uh, squirrel brains. It's actually really good, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of headshotted this squirrel. So, uh, so that video may be coming soon. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead, head on down and uh, get this skin on a stretcher say stretcher because it's actually just like a big piece of plywood and uh, we'll put this in the freezer uh, we're gonna go ahead staple this to this piece of board or whatever and uh, we're gonna put some salt on it full speed ahead you know what I mean I won't be showing this on video, but like every 48 hours I'll change this and uh, I'll do that for about 10 days. And this is actually a uh, squirrel that I did, it was a little bit better job. Uh, I did this in, I don't know if it was a previous video, but I know it was before this happened because you know, I exist in the real world right now. Here's our start 
to the furs this year, which kind of sucks because we've only got two so far and it's already January. But hey, I just do it for a hobby. I'm not selling these. So uh, we're going to go ahead and let both of these dry out some more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys either tomorrow if I go back hunting. But if not, this is the end of the video. So see you guys later. Well, guys, I was correct. This is going to be the end of this video. And by the way, this happened in 12 hours. Yesterday, I was wearing just a shirt. I mean, it was a long sleeve shirt, but I was burning up. And now we got snows. It's Kentucky, guys. It's Kentucky. I don't know how the weather's going to act. This is going to be the end of this video. And I actually do want to do more squirrel hunting, but I think this video is getting pretty long now. I don't want to make it too long, so um, if you want to see more and it's not that long, apologize but i will be doing more squirrel hunting yeah i'll see you guys in a different video we are going to be doing more squirrel hunting for sure because that place was loaded with it but we're definitely going to be doing more stuff with squirrels uh, i'm probably going to be doing squirrel hunting with a bow i've been wanting to do that since early deer season and i saw a bunch of squirrels while i was deer hunting but i didn't really think about it at the time about actually you know trying to and one time i did try but i didn't put it on video anyway but if you guys want to see anything in particular with squirrels uh, such as maybe hunting with a pistol, I could do uh, shotgun hunting, pretty much anything. I mean, I'll figure something out. I'm, I'll see if I can use a slingshot. I have slingshots, but I don't know if that's legal. Anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. And, oh, and by the way, if the video quality is any better, um, it's because I got a new camera. So that's good. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for the view. See you guys later. I think I already said that. Anyway, I'll see you guys there.